Welcome back guys. Today in this episode I am going to talk about a new uh, JavaScript library called TurboLinks which will help us um, maintain the you know, Laravel approach in terms of you know, different pages and routes um, which are you know, coming from the server you know, as we call it it's the server rendered pages and yet have a look and feel or you know the ux of a single page application where you know the page doesn't doesn't refresh and you know we are not loading all the assets every time a user clicks on the uh, link on any page right so to start with what we are going to do is take this particular component and create an individual page for it which will be our you know my restaurants page and clicking on that we will have this component which will become our you know menu page okay so in my visual studio code i'll go into web.php and we will create two new routes we have restaurant controller and the menu controller right so All right, so we have these two routes and I'll make the views for them. All right, so I have these two views and let's first go into restaurant controller. So this is restaurant, right? All right, and I'll return a view. And if I see this page has some data about this form, right? So we'll need to get that. I'm doing that inside the home controller right now, which is through this service. So why don't we first call this? I'll get the restaurants. Okay, so this page is done, I think. And this is fine. I'll come to the menu controller. I have passed an argument in our route, so I'll get the ID in here. Okay, and if I go to home controller, for this I'll need the menu service, right? So first copy this and restaurant ID will be equal to dollar ID service. My service is this. So why don't we new up the instance? Okay. All right, so I'm sending this as well. Okay, and now ta -ta 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 -ta, I think we need to work on these. So first I'll go to home controller, cop copy this and put it here. I don't need this part. So this takes care of my restaurants, right? Let's come over here stores and we can see this right on an this is a standalone page and then the next one is I'll again uh, close this go to my home blade copy in my menu index dot blade I'll put this and I don't need this okay what do we have in here? We have one more page, which is, let's say menu, uh, sorry, slash menu slash one. Hmm. Undefined variable resto ID inside menu blade. 
okay i need to send this as well this is being referenced so inside menu controller pass this as well hit refresh and we have this right so i have one menu for this another menu which doesn't show anything all right so i think we are good here i'm able to am i able to you know, work with the menu let me see quickly so i have the form some food item category soup some description and i have one two three four i'll put it here some food item right so we are able to you know ensure that the entire forms functionality is working and you know the components are behaving properly as they should but obviously you know right now it's a page refresh right so first of all i'll close everything out and first create a menu link for them so that you know we are able to understand so i'll have a nav.blade.php i'll open up app.blade.php and i'll put the entire thing on this page okay and i'll include this okay nothing should change in here that's fine and now we need to define two links in our nav right so let's come over here we have restos my restaurants okay which is fine i know this is on click and why don't we have this you know, thing take us to home which will mean i'm on home page i come to this page this is working and in we here so this is fine i think um we are pretty much you know, close to what we wanted but now let's see how i can have this page being ajaxified okay so turbo links sorry now turbo links is this npm package okay which allows us to basically yeah, navigate to other pages but um, you know through ajax right so what it basically does is if you see our source code you know whenever we click any link okay the the li library will intercept that and it will first get the response from the server for that particular url okay then what it will do is right from the body tag till the end okay it will replace the entire thing with the new response and it will merge whatever is there in the head okay so it does those things uh, pretty neatly and that's what we want so let's see how do we install it should be an npm install so yes i'll copy this run it over here and you know for view to work there is one more on a package so what happens is basically you know when we go to one page through turbo links and then we come back right view doesn't recognize that because the dom didn't change you know there are some event level problems and that's why there is one module okay which fixes this caching issue okay so i'll need to add this as well by the way um i would like to thank jeffrey way who you know gave away this you know uh, fix to me because i had tried turbo links and you know i was not able to um, you know get hold of that you know problem i was not able to fix it where i will go back and then you know the application won't work and i had to 
you know get rid of this beautiful library because it was not solving the purpose for my uh, you know, view based uh, applications but then later on i think uh, i went through the forum and i came across this beautiful package which very simply you know uh, creates an you know a document dot at event listener and um, it basically registers the view component um, view app again and yeah that's you know pretty much does the trick so yeah thanks to jeffrey way i was able to find this solution um all right i have turbo links and i have view turbo links so both are installed now i'll go to my app.js sorry this is scss app dot app dot js in here hmm import turbo links from turbo links okay turbo links dot start okay the documentation does say that so it's uh, no, i'm not doing something on my own basically yeah that's all we need to do turbo link required turbo link start and now if you see click can you see that you know the page doesn't refresh but yes you know once we are you know here and we come over here it's an ajax call but you know the page is gone okay but it it will work so what we need to do is we need to you know make this fix so import what is this turbo links adapter from turbo links okay and in here so what is it doing document dot add event listener document dot add event listener the listener the event is this oopsie okay and in here i need to get the html oopsie document dot get element by id my id is sorry app okay this is how you know it works so i have the element and then it says if the element is not null basically the element is there in the dom i create the view instance right so element is element it is doing some other stuffs which we don't want to do we have view we have everything in place and now i think it should work so home page restaurants home page restaurants and yeah i mean if you see the, the these are ajax calls so if i go to my network and if i oops let me pull this here you know yeah so if i xhr i click here it's a home request you know it gives me the entire body tag right but the the new things or you know the if there is any change in the head it will be merged you know for example you know if i had some different javascripts being pulled in i would be able to get them here because it is doing the merge and it is replacing the entire body tag so which means if your body has some you know page specific classes and everything they will be retained and so we don't need to worry about this is this package is literally doing the tricks and one last thing which i would like to do is you know i'll need to go to the menu right so um this is a view component it needs to understand the url so we have a property in model which is appends so i'll tell you what the requirement is okay before we you know dive into the um, coding so i have this group and restaurant group which is you know, showing the entire card right this is the card component and it is the main slot now i have something like this and let's say i have an a link okay and it says show menu it fresh okay okay i mean uh, so get bootstrap this want to be a card right 
just spare me for a minute i'll take the you know good looking example okay it's card link that's the thing i had done so menu i think now it should look good no it is not why so card body this should go into card body anyways i'll keep it like this for now for me looks are not the main thing here right now i'm talking about the implementation so view needs to know what is the url of this um, you know restaurant right and so what we are going to do is get into our model where is our model 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 yes in here i'll have a property called slug which will return the route name is restos dot menu and it needs to send the id right that's what we had specified that it needs the id so restos dot menu that's our route restos dot menu and this is slug now get slug attribute okay this is the way we define an accessor so get slug attribute and protected dollar appends in here i will define slug and if and everything is done properly i should be able to see my card with this slug right so you know i don't need to pass anything this is part of the model however this is not in my table so this is a custom field which i have created in my model which is now visible to the view component because you know we are passing the entire model so now what i can do is we bind href simple isn't it resto dot slug I think the yeah. So yes, you know this is done. If you see the entire um, you know behavior is a is almost like in a single page application. However, you know we don't need to do the entire route setup and everything in here. So you know typically if you have not implemented store, if you have a very you know simple uh, you know view component which is getting the data through AJAX or some other means, I think. you know the turbo links will work beautifully for you and will allow you to get that spa feeling without the overheads of writing an actual spa so yeah that's it that's it for the day i hope you like the uh, turbo links module and you will be implementing it in your project thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel